Just a few weeks ago, it was seen as a promising new theory about the cause of multiple sclerosis. Tonight, something a little more tempered, and it's coming from the researchers who see its potential. Our health reporter, Kelly Crow explains. The excitement started when an Italian scientist suggested the secret to MS lies in unblocking veins that drain blood from the brain. With words like cure popping up, MS patients became desperate to learn more. Christopher Elkenbrack told CBC he would mortgage his house and liquidate his retirement fund. It's a sacrifice that we've considered and that we're willing to make. But it's not a sacrifice. What would you give to be better? You'd oh give goodness, everything. Anything. At this Buffalo clinic, more than 8,000 people, most of them Canadian, begged to be let in the door. Actually, we were paralyzed uh, for a couple of days. We had uh, more than 1,000 voicemails. Uh, um, some of my people really needed to change the phone numbers. But the patients are looking for something that doesn't exist. There is no established treatment. It's just research, early research. Normal flow. Dr. Robert Zivadinov, one of the lead investigators, says he doesn't believe this will explain the entire cause of MS and it's not likely to be the cure. I fully understand on the other side MS patients who heard on the news that there is now cure for MS, but that's not true. That's the sound of blood flowing from the brain. Researchers are using this special ultrasound on MS patients, looking for narrowed veins that could be damaging the brain. But at this point, they don't know if all MS patients have the vein problem. And you don't know that everybody who has this uh, vein problem has MS? Absolutely. That's why we are doing the study. And you don't know if fixing the, the vein will cure MS? We don't know that. So is the optimism misplaced? Uh, at the moment, the optimism is not justified by the available data. At just 25, Mike has learned he'll have a lifelong struggle with MS. Yet he's one of the lucky ones, a volunteer at this clinic, part of the research that thousands of other patients want to join. His advice to the others? Stay optimistic and, uh, you know, just be positive. And all the hype around this comes with a certain degree of risk, if not danger. There is a risk, Peter, that uh, patients might strike out on their own and look for a surgeon who will do the operation, which has been largely untested and certainly unapproved. And not only is there a risk to the patient, but uh, if something goes wrong, if it fails, it could be a setback to this whole area of research. And scientists are quite excited by this new direction because they think it could be one factor in explaining, along with a series of other things, what has long been a mysterious disease. A key word there, could. Thanks, Kelly. Kelly Pro.